This is the MR556A1. This is the uh, long-awaited civilian version of the HK416 assault rifle. Semi-automatic fire only for the U.S. Uh, civilian market. As far as the features, we'll start from the muzzle and work to the buttstock. We have a 16 and a half inch heavy target barrel, barrel with a one and seven inch rate of twist. Uh, the tried and true proven HK416 gas system consists of a gas piston and a pusher rod encapsulated inside the free floating rail system. Free floating rail system right over here is attached to the barrel nut by means of the set screw. Uh, enlarged uh, and flared magazine well to help promote uh, and facilitate quicker magazine changes. We also have ambidextrous selectors on both the left and the right hand sides. One unique safety feature on the MR556A1 is the ability to place the weapon on safe when the hammer is in the uncocked position. Normally on most legacy guns, the hammer has to be cocked. So here, we go ahead, pull the charging handle, make sure the muzzle's in a safe direction. We also employ a little bit lighter and smoother trigger than are on our military guns. We go ahead and pull the trigger, take the weapon off safe, pull the trigger, and the weapon can go back on safe. So that's a safety feature that uh, the uh, MR556A1 uh, uh, utilizes. We have the ability right over here to mount the locking latch, either on the left or the right hand sides. By taking a small uh, 1.4 millimeter punch, drifting out these pins, the uh, extended latch can go either on the left or the right hand sides. We also employ spring detents on both the takedown and pivot pins. And what this does is it eliminates the flex between the upper and lower receivers, promotes a more stable firing platform. Uh, target grip right over here that has a water resistant storage compartment for batteries, uh, cleaning equipment or what have you, right in here. On the butt stock, we have a six position stock. We have the ability to change the recoil pads, either a concave or a convex. You just simply rotate the recoil pad one turn counterclockwise, go ahead and remove. On the, stock, on the stock itself, there is a modification with the set screw right up in here. Once you get the stock adjusted for length of pull, you come in here, take the tool out, and by tightening clockwise, like so, we can eliminate the play between the buttstock and the receiver extension. Now, if we want to readjust this, we must loosen this up and then pushing in on the locking lever, we can go ahead and either extend or retract the buttstock. Place this back in. Again, recoil pad comes out. The MR556A1 also is going to come standard with the MP5 slash G3 sights. Front sight is fixed. Windage and elevation adjustments are done from the rear. There are four diopters, each corresponding to a range mark. The weapon is zeroed at 100 meters and utilizing a sight adjustment tool. We adjust this once zeroed at 100. We can then correspond for 200, 300, or 400 meters. Forward assist, uh, trigger guard, same as the uh, AR-15, M16 family. Inside the bolt, we have a couple of additional safety features to include a drop safety, firing pin spring, and a captive firing pin retaining pin.